Greetings and salutations. Welcome to an another tutorial on HarshGandhi.in. As you may have known that I am currently working on Orange Pi Zero, and it may be the worst single board computer ever created. There is next to none support from the manufacturer, and the only guys who done a great job is the RBM team. Even though RBM has done such a great job, there are still problems with the Orange Pi Zero. Uh, first of all, there is a problem with reliability. If your system starts and uh, there is a sudden power down, then the file system gets corrupted. There may be system freeze during boot, there may be system freeze during runtime, and so on and so forth. Even after so many problems, Orange Pi Zero is still a lucrative single board computer since it's so cheap that you can break it and not worry about breaking a bank. So then, uh, I've decided to go ahead with using Orange Pi Zero, and as you can see over here, I have SSH'd into my Orange Pi Zero, and also connected my Orange Pi Zero via the serial interface. There are these three serial pins, which I have already shown in my previous video. Uh, just to start the edge talk to know that the board has not frozen up or has any problems. So as I was mentioning that there is a major problem that is the root file system gets corrupted during power up or power down. And uh, if that ever happens, then the only option that you have is to flash your memory card and start all over again. So we want to fix this. We want a system which uh, no matter whenever the power is cut, no matter what was happening, every time the board starts, it should be fresh, clean and should not have any problems whatsoever. So in order to do this, uh, we will be using the overlay root uh, program. This program has a few prerequisites that you will need to use. First of all, it is the Ambient. You will need to use Ambient. And also this overlay root operating system was specifically written for Ubuntu. It will work on Ambient with a legacy kernel based on Ubuntu Xenial. So as you can see over here, welcome to Ambient. So it is a stable Ubuntu release and uh, it's a long term support and it's a legacy kernel so uh, there are two kind of ambient kernels so you will have to go with the legacy one so if you have got all this down then uh, all you have to do is start your system and uh, you can go ahead and install the overlay root so what you can do is sudo apt install overlay root and hit enter and if you apply the password then it's a very small program uh, as you can see i've already installed so it will go no further there are no updates also so once you have installed overlay root then what you need to do is uh, change a few configuration files and in order to do that you will have to go to sudo you can use vim nano whatever the, your favorite editor is i will go with vim and then slash etc slash overlay root dot con so if you open this overlay root configuration and uh, go to the bottom most line you can see here overlay root equal to and then there i have written it as uh, tmpfs swap one recurse zero so when you first install overlay root there will be just a space over here uh, nothing will be written so you have to do is uh, write tempfs if you want to enable swap then write swap equal to 1 and then provide comma and use recurse equal to 0. So I will uh, first start by explaining what overlay root actually does. Alright so I will just uh, provide a diagrammatical view over here. Uh, let's say that uh, this block is your root file system. So all your files everything that uh, uh, your orange pi 0 starts with everything is contained over here. So any program that you wish to install will be contained over here. And if there is a power crash, uh, this root file system will get corrupted and you will not be able to boot from it ever again and you will have to reformat and start all over again. So what we want to do is make this root file system read only file system. But uh, if we do that, then uh, the programs will not be able to run and function properly. So we use overlay root file system. Uh, this uses temp file system so that is tempfs uh, it is a temporary file system uh, where all the files are written to ram so it is very speedy and uh, whenever uh, there is a power cycle that is power is switched off and on then your tempfs will get cleared and there will be no changes so what we want to do is uh, take the temp file system 
and mount it right over your root file system so now as you can see there are two file stacks uh, so this will be the overlay so you are overlaying root file system with temp file system so temp file system will be read right root file system will be read only what it will help is uh, let's say that there is a certain file that is present in temp file system then our system will uh, directly edit temp file system but let's say there is a, a file which is not present in temp it is present in root then it will the, our operating system will go to root file system make some changes these changes will then again be saved in temp file system and uh, when our operating system uh, tries to see what root is doing at that time you can see that the entire overlay will be merged together and you can see files present in both the systems so now that we have known that uh, this will be done by our temp file system you will start to understand that why we have written temp fs so overlay root tmp fs if you want to enable swap then you can write it as one uh, in orange by zero currently there is no swap partition so you can uh, delete this and it will still work and then we want to do recurse uh, so what happens is uh, let's say we have connected a pen drive or something so our root file system is main and every other file system that is our pen drive or another memory block it remains inside our uh, root file system so we don't want all those file systems to become read only also we want them to be accessible and modifiable so we write recurse equal to zero so it will not recurse and uh, just uh, overlay root the uh, root file system only if you want to understand more about the overlay root which is present most just majorly for ubuntu then uh, you can check the overlay root config uh, it provides a lot of documentation and you will be able to understand how it works very easily so now we'll uh, quit if you have uh, made some changes then do wq so right and quit and once this is done you will need to go and do sudo reboot so once you do sudo reboot uh, i am there is no point since it's already rebooted and i am on overlay root uh, you will start to see that uh, you can see usage of root root is coming in as 1% of 248 m 248 m is very small i am currently using a 32 gigs of uh, my mem sd card so let's uh, return as 248 m this is because the temp file system is half of our ram so my orange pi 0 currently consists of 494 mb of ram that is almost half a gig of ram so half of it will be consumed by our temp file system now you don't have to worry about uh, it so much because if you are not modifying uh, much of it then uh, it is a flexible file system so it will not directly take the chunk of ram outside uh, your ram will still be usable uh, as it is so you need to worry about uh, this if you are using orange pi 0 with a 256 mb of ram because then it will uh, your root file system will be consisting of only one 24 MB of RAM and then it will be a major problem major hurdle so now we have done overlay root and uh, if let's say that uh, a power cut is uh, suddenly applied to our orange pi zero in that case uh, all the changes that were made will be in RAM so if the RAM gets cleared due to a power cut then that does not mean that your original root file system as I have shown here so your ram will get cleared it will go away and your root file system will remain as it is so when you apply a, a power supply again to your uh, orange pi zero at that time your orange pi zero will boot as if nothing had ever happened to it and uh, let's say that you genuinely want to make some changes so you want to install some applications or do some uh, changes so this will not be allowed because again as i mentioned that you, all your changes will be gone whenever there is a system reboot so what you can do is there is a provision for that also uh, you will have to use a program known as overlay root dash ch root you can see here overlay root dash ch root so what it will do is uh, it will directly ch root you into your main that is the original root file system so if I hit enter over here, okay, so you, you will have to do sudo overlay root. Okay, so let's do sudo overlay root dash ch root. 
and once that is done you can see here uh, ch routing into slash media slash root arrow this means that now we are into the original root partition so any changes that you do over here it will be reflected inside your uh, orange pi zero even after your power cycle so if we want to install some software uh, let's say you want to install w3m so if we type w3m it will not be installed so let's do sudo apt install w3m so it's a very tiny program and so it should get installed very quickly well i'm having some uh, internet issues so anyway if you had installed any program after going through overlaid root dash ch root then all you want to do is exit from it let's say that the uh, application has been installed so you exit and uh, so you can see here that we have been exited and we are again into our normal line so we are not in root now once that is done you can do sudo reboot and so as you can see over the serial port uh, the reboot command has been given up and there will be a few traces of overlay root file system coming up uh, here and there as you can see here slash media slash r root rw and all that so what this does is uh, whatever changes are there which were done by overlay root dash ch root they will be applied to the o original root file system and once the orange pi zero is booted all your changes will be uh, persisted so in this way All right, and we are back. So as you can see over here, the tempfs root, it is a root retry, and then uh, overlay root retry, and all our lower directories, lower directories is the slash media slash root, that is read only. So in our orange pi zero, actually the read root file system is uh, in media because it is in uh, uh, memory card so all these configurations have been set you may have noticed that uh, my orange pi zero was uh, freezing from boot and uh, this was uh, because of the power failure over here so where i am situated there is a lot of power troubles and in order to fix it uh, i have created a power bank and uh, unluckily during this shoot the power bank also got exhausted and uh, the file voltage dropped so down that the orange pi zero used to just hang up so anyway as you can see even after three power failures our orange pi zero has still booted up still connected to our network which means that our project of making a highly reliable orange pi zero is a success so anyway if you want to check out what i do in order to prevent a power outage to orange pi zero that is create an uninterruptible power supply even during our blackout you can check out my next video which will come very soon thanks for watching goodbye take care